CCIE or die.com. I'm Artek, and today we're going to be looking at CCNP switch 300-115-1.1, configure and verify switch administration subtopic 1.1c, troubleshoot error disable recovery. And let's first take a look at the conditions, the condition that our error disable uh, state is in. Show error disable detect. By default, some are enabled, some are not enab enabled. As you can see from the list, I'm not going to go through the list uh, entirely, or even a little bit in this in this video. Um, we're we're going to take a look at one one condition. So to enable all, which is something we'll just want to do, config t error disable detect cause all and then do show error disable detect we'll see now that all the conditions are are enabled just make our life a little bit easier if we want to change the recovery interval which is by default 300 seconds or five minutes we can use the error disable recovery interval command and we'll set it to 30 seconds and if we do show error disable recovery it's going to show us our new time of 30 seconds because I just don't have the patience to wait five minutes and we don't want this video to go that long so we've set the new interval for 30 seconds the first thing before you issue the shut no shut command which is is the manual way of resolving the problem and getting the port uh, back uh, up and running what you want to do is is come to grips with a solution for why the the port was disabled and uh, you can also set recovery as automatic so that won't require uh, human intervention in that case so we're gonna go a little off topic but we want to set up security to create the fault condition, uh, setting port sec on the on the interface. The first thing we're going to do is uh, default default interface F0 slash 23, which is the port we're going to use. So it's set to a default condition. Do show run interface F0 slash 23. It's manufactured out of the box. Now port security can only be set up on uh, access ports and trunk ports so for this interface f0 slash 23 interface f0 slash 23 we are going to set up it as an access port switch port mode access and it's vlan 1 so that that will certainly be enough we want to now lock down the mac address so we can create our our error condition so the first thing we'll need to do with the switch port is set up port security port sec switch port port sec enables it and then switch port port sec and we're going to set the mac address for aaa.aaa.aaa do show run interface f0 slash 23 good we can see we have port security enabled and we have it locked down to the MAC address. So now we're going to plug in a, a cable from my desktop PC and we're going to create the air condition. And in a few seconds it should come up with, uh, it, it brings it up and in a few seconds it should bring it back down once it detects the condition. Okay. And there it is. So if we do do show interface F0 slash 23 status. We can see it's in an error, error disabled state. So if we now eliminate the, uh, if we now eliminate the error conditions, so we want to no switch port sec the Mac. Right. So it should be it's attempting to recover here and now it brought it back up so it did do the automatic recovery in that short period of time I wouldn't want to wait the five minutes that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it see you again on CCIE or die.com